arms out of your dog. Wait, I didn't so, pan down yet. No, it looked like it. it looks like it's straight here. I don't even see you yet. All right, let's it do it like again. Right there. No. <laughs> no. Right, keep reading. I'm Zachary Tom. Welcome to my documentary. Why do I have a documentary? Because I'm so cool. Ask anybody, anybody, and they'll all say I'm cool. Yeah, I know that Zach, but I was in jail once about a few years back. He helped me dig a few tunnels to try and escape from this dreaded place. We always got caught by damn police, the fuzz, but still, he's a nice guy. Oh, yeah, that's that guy just came out of this. That's the reason he's still alive. I ain't killed him yet. Yeah, that Zach guy is the man. I mean, he's the envy of all the raisins in California. I wish I could be like him. That's Edgar Tomfell. He's nice. I mean, he helped me put some dirt on my truck while we were out shooting us some duck. He shot 16 geese out of the air. He had a pretty nice dog, too. Shredded them. Zach is so nice. He gives me doggy treats every day. Man, he pets me all the time. That Zach guy's so nice, he buys me a smoothie with my lunch every day. I mean, is there anybody that kind? Except for him, that is. That Zach guy is so cool. He's on the cool side of He'll never be quite as cool, though. Never just quite that. Zach? He ain't cool. He's such a jerk. He, you see what he does? He's just a jerk beyond belief. Well, not everybody appreciates my greatness, but anybody with half a brain in their head would appreciate it. Because I'm just brilliant. I'm required by law to say that I'm brother of Zachary Cotton, who is the subject of this documentary. Very, very sad. Like a poor subject. How do I describe him? Very, he's very hard person to describe because of his how crazy he is. Sometimes in our house, we have to work around the house and work in the yard break for about four or three hours. And they, our parents, just say, "Just gotta carry our own weight." And, but I think, where are the abolitionists? We need William Wilberforce. What happened? We're coming, returning back to the old South. What the Civil War was useless, and here we are raking away this afternoon like we did. This is unacceptable. I consider myself to be a very good worker. I'm like that slacker Chris. I mean, I'll be like just going away at the leaves while he's just like twiddling his thumbs, whacking trees with sticks, and making more work for me to do. Like, he'll shake a tree and get the leaves on and they just like slap me like, ha, pick him up. I mean, it's obvious that I do more work than he does because he's so flabby. Look at these well muscles. I mean, come on. <laughs> I'm not appreciated around this household. Carry on my, around my own weight. I'm not going to have any weight left if I keep working like this. Yeah. Hey, what, what, you put that back. Screen? Put that back. Who do you think you are taking our flag? Hey, you. You failing. He's got smoked. In video games, while I was Zach and I were playing video games, Zachary. I would probably say he's better at me in first person shooters, but that's because of his violent nature and his love to kill computer players. He likes bragging about his skills in those games very definitely, which sometimes can be annoying. <laughs> Here's my beautiful kick. You don't want to see this here. No, not that. This. 
In other games, though, I just think that I'm better than him. Um, he would disagree with that, but he hates losing to me because I beat him down. In Madden, I'm way better than him. I scored touchdowns on him like he, like you couldn't even think of. Here's my special thing. He loves hit sticking people, his violent nature taking over him, so again, um, destroying people. I've died 18 times. He's died 18 times. One of the good things about video games is they really bring the question of life into the spotlight. I mean, it hit me when I was playing, like, three years ago, I was playing Medal of Honor, and I came up and drilled some guy in the face with a shotgun, and then it hit me. Life really is short, isn't it? But while I was thinking about this, I saw him respawning near where I was, and then another thing came to my mind. Is there a next life? Do we have multiple lives? Beethoven is considered a great piano player. He's not. I mean, I am way better than him. He's horrible. I even got an email from a fan in Uganda. Uganda. I didn't even know they had email there. They probably invented it just for me. I have fans all over the world. I mean, I am great. I'm playing one of the easiest songs I can find for me. <laughs> I'm better than he is. Uh. I'm the greatest piano player you'll ever see. I'm the man. Disappear again. And then bring it back. 